community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Let's talk a little bit about learning, folks. I uh, Most of you that have been here to see me, and there's been a few of you, you notice I have a very large library of hundreds of books and a lot of different subjects matter, all related to numbers and market stuff usually. Uh, my uh, book that I cherish the most is called... Uh, <laughs> Secret Teachings of All the Ages by Manley Hall. Uh, Manley Hall uh, lived in the Los Angeles area up on Mulholland Drive uh, for many years. He was self-taught by his mother. He traveled all over the world. He never went to a regular uh, sophisticated school like a college. He might have attended him for a few classes, but he didn't graduate. He wrote oh, probably 50, 60 books over the years. His Institute of Medical Physics is still there on Mulholland Drive, right down the street from where Mike Milken lives. And I used to hang out there all the time when I was at Drexel and also during the years when I was at uh, trading at Conti Commodity because I've always been attached to numbers. Many years ago, uh, a gentleman came to visit me from London that we had met at a Tom Hugard seminar, and he spent uh, quite a bit of time here with me. We became closest of friends. I cherish him as one of my closest friends. His name is Nor Bashar, and he's written a book called Plato and the Koran. And folks, if you have any, any interest in numbers, all I, I'm not going to try to give you a sales pitch because you can't do it in just a few minutes, but there's a five-minute video that you should watch. And if you really want to look at something, I, I just moved my Manly Hall book over and I put it right next to it because there's three books up there that mean the world to me. That one, this one, and also the, the uh, uh, Dimensions of Paradise by John Michel. But this is a book that you really should look at. If you're thinking of getting a gift for somebody that has everything, he doesn't have this. It's got some really, really great stuff in it, folks. I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, all you have to do is just look at that video. It'll self-sell itself because it's the maps in there and the history of Mesopotamia. And Oh, my gosh. It's just it's, it's really spectacular. And, and, and the things of the Bible about Jonah and the whale and stuff, I mean, it's just uh, all it's all related to numbers. And he's been able to decipher this in a way that you're able to really understand it and see the value of everything. It doesn't make any difference what your religious background happens to be. This is history, folks. This is the kind of stuff that's in the library at the Vatican. So give yourself a gift for Christmas uh, in the middle of the summer. <laughs> uh, but it's really quite special. I'm going to be talking about it more and more because it is, it's really a special book. It, there's no question about it. Okay, let's move on to the markets. First of all, I finally got 10 hours sleep after not sleeping through the big storm where we lost our electricity this morning. Morning when I woke up, I looked at the kitchen floor and there was a glass all over it. Uh, the plate glass window that we made it through the uh, uh, big storm uh, actually had a slight crack in it in the middle of the night. It kept splitting and splitting and splitting and it finally cracked open and I was still asleep. And uh, when I saw that, uh, I have to get it replaced, but that was my only damage. But boy, we had a heck of a storm here to really uh, mean quite a bit. The $64 question that everybody's asking me is uh, what, what went wrong? Because, you know, I had all these numbers saying that Monday was going to be the day. Uh, well, actually, Friday or Monday was going to be the day. Of course, Friday and then Monday and Tuesday were spectacular days, as is Wednesday. We've gone up to levels that we've not seen. We've broken all the Fibonacci numbers in everything except one, and that is in the Dow Jones. And we broke it by 100 points. We're 150 points below that right now, but that's neither here nor there. The sequence to this is either I'm totally wrong that this is going to be a continuing bull market going up forever, or we're probably going to have one heck of a correction in here. The, the, the bullishness now is uh, the greed index is off the charts. No question about it. The overbought index is off the chart, but it hasn't turned down. If you'll remember when I was on the show 
uh, on Monday. Of course, we had that big storm Monday afternoon, and I, I was totally out of commission on Tuesday because I had no electricity. But if you remember, one of the things that I posted that morning was the fact that the move that we were having in Microsoft, which was a, you know the big thing in the Dow Jones, it had made this beautiful 382 retracement right on the open. And uh, then from that level, it just went on and just, uh, you know, just, oh, what happened? It didn't post. Just a second, boys and girls. I'm having a slight uh, technical adjustment here. We'll get this up here so we'll be able to see. Here we go. We're almost ready to go now. All right. There's where we are. Okay. Now, you'll see here, and this was all, probably 80% of this was Microsoft, and then the people just, you know, hanging on the, the bandwagon and stuff. But that's one of the reasons. And that's when it shattered. I took that one shot, uh, 150 points in the Dow, and I just uh, stood aside, and that's basically what I wanted to do. I stood aside all day yesterday and pretty much all day today. Uh, believe me, folks, it's been very emotional with my brother-in-law, who's quite ill, and my sister's birthday. I was supposed to be there today, but the flights were canceled. And uh, so anyway, we'll move on to that. I just wanted to say no matter what happens here, folks, we're going to have some great, great patterns you know, that are just going to be absolutely spectacular. Now, we always talk about the German DAX. So let's get up here. And first, what we're going to do is we're going to, and remember, this is in the midst of what we've got going here in the U.S. And these are pretty much up to date this morning. So first, we're going to look at the German DAX on a daily chart. And the reason why I do this is because our good friend, Mr. Hugard, trades this just like we do the S&P. And as you can see here, we have there's that 135 pattern. You see the green triangles on the right? That's the 135 setting exactly. There's 1, 3, and 5 right here. There's 1, 3, and 5, and it's done exactly what it was supposed to do. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to a little microscopic view of this and look at it on the hourly basis, and you're going to see that it is actually working quite nicely. This is what patterns are for, folks. They're there to help you see where the market direction is going. And when they fail, it's going in the other direction. You can bet your socks or a few pennies if you want. But you'll notice here we have lower highs in here. This is a sign that, yes, we could be rolling over in here. We've come down a little bit, but not a great deal. But at least the pattern is working. We know that if it goes above that recent high, your risk is so darn small, you're in and out of it without any possible you know, ramifications for having a big loss. Okay, now let's switch gears. Something that we've been talking about here for a few days, it's been working quite nicely, and that is the British pound. Same thing here, if we get this up and take a quick look at it. This is the daily chart, and you're gonna see the beautiful three drive to a top pattern. Perfect symmetry, folks. The number of days up in the AB leg equals the number of ups in the CD leg, setting right up at that 1.618 level, and we've already broken 200 points down. We went from 131 up to 129 in that British pound. And if we look at this on the four hour, this is what's really interesting is because the low today, and those of you that follow us at TWS, trade what you see, <laughs> you'll notice that we follow that 382 ratio so very, very closely. And as you can see, all we've done here is to go up to it and uh, stop. Anyway, we're going to take a break here. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 Internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, folks, we've had a request from one of our listeners to bring up a coffee chart. Now, most of you know that I do not trade coffee for the reasons I've stated in the past. I got too much other stuff going on. But this is an absolute perfect Gartley pattern. You can see the market is setting right at this 78% level now for almost two weeks. Uh, we've made slightly lower lows three or four times, one of them almost today, just by a few pips. But, folks, uh, I personally believe the coffee trading here at 156 offers great value just by looking at the chart. The AB leg and the CD leg are almost equal in time, setting exactly at the 78% level. Your risk here is about two or three cents per pound uh, on coffee, and the profit potential is well over 15 or 20 cents. So that's an eight to one risk reward ratio. So it might not work. But I have it on my watch list. I got the limit minders on. I have not put an order in for myself, nor will I put an order in for myself. That's just not going to happen because I'm just too busy uh, doing the other things that I do that I don't really need coffee, even though it looks okay. But it hit 159.80 so far today. I think that's where it's trading right now. I'd have, if I were in it, and I'm not, I would have a stop at 153.80. That's the main thing that I would be doing. Okay, now I want to talk to you just a tiny bit here about the Dow Jones E-mini. I want to get this up here. Now, this is the E-mini. This is not the uh, this is not the contract itself, but there's uh, the one thing that I could have maybe made a mistake on, and maybe that was the reason. I don't know, because the Dow's what made everything go up on Monday and Tuesday because of Microsoft, which is the one of the major Dow stocks. But if you'll notice here, you can see the ABCD leg right here. This is a weekly chart, folks. Now, what we've done now is we've taken out this high. That's at basically 150, uh, 25,300, okay? And we hit the high today was 25,400. We went in that vertical move we were having this morning. We took that out by just a little bit. Now, if we close below that 25,200 level, that will tell me that, yes, maybe this ABCD that we're looking at right here may be the valid one and i missed it because the s p was so very very perfect in both cash and futures but remember folks that's when cash was trading at 47 or the s p was trading it at 47.35 folks we hit 46.10 
today, folks. I mean, that is what we would call a major failure. And so we don't know. Also, the other one, if you remember the Dow Jones Transportation Index, we, we point, pointed that out several times. Now, it has made a new high, but uh, only slightly. Let's just get this up here so we'll be able to see uh, that we can get it together here with any luck at all. And the luck is not running with me right now. I don't know why. It, there it is. It's here. Luck is with us again, folks. Get this here, and we'll see it. There we go. Only take a second. And what we've done now, you'll see the high here that we have set up here is at uh, 259. Well, we hit 260 today. We went higher by another little bit. This is Wednesday. Uh, we made a higher high uh, slightly on Monday, slightly on Tuesday, and slightly today. We're still around that uh, 26080, I think, was the high. So if this ABCD is correct, we're off by one week, which we could be. And, you know, maybe we're not. All I know is that I'm, I'm not going to trade until I see a pattern like I had on Monday. Yeah, I would do that pattern all day long, but uh, it lost. And that's uh, that's when you know you got to get out of Dodge is when something like that happens. I say this every day. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. Because if you still got a few shekels in your pocket, you're going to be able to find a winning trade if you use these patterns. Because they work roughly 60% of the time. And the other part of the time, they just don't work. And that's the key to what we're watching here. Okay, very, very important to remember these things. All right, now let's move on here to the euro. We talked about that uh, quite a bit. And it looks like we have some type of a small correction going now. Uh-oh, just a second. Broadsword to Danny Boy. There we are. We're back in business. There's the euro. Uh, and, of course, the pound was the easiest one. You remember we had a three drive to a top up there in the pound. It's dropped 200 pips, which is a very substantial amount considering your only risk 50. So that's a four to one risk reward ratio, which is very good. That's all you're really uh, trying to do is to line them up to make it look pretty good. Now, since we're talking about the euro, what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over to the U.S. dollar index. And I know uh, we have a little bit of a – I wasn't on uh, – Hold on just a second. I was on yesterday, but Monday was the day we had the big problem. Okay, just give me one second here. I've got to get this up here. What did I do wrong here? Okay, now I got that correct. Move over here. Get this there. Where we go? Okay, here's the dollar index on a daily basis. You'll notice that we came down, and you notice how we took out the lows of the last few days by a little bit and then popped above that number. That was telling us that there was a probability that the euro and the pound were going to back off because this is the dollar index, and that's 53% of that is the euro, and that's why the market turned and had the pretty good rally. But at the same time, folks, if you remember, we were watching the weekly chart because the weekly chart is the one that had the absolute phenomenal pattern that has been proven to be correct, and that is we made it to the 61% retracement on the dollar index you can see the three drive to a bottom pattern folks if you don't believe this do it yourself there's drive one there's drive two there's drive three you'll look at you have an a b c d pattern coming in here you're exactly at the 61 percent retracement okay this could be something really really significant folks if we get below here we get below 98 on the u.s dollar the low was uh 99.20, I believe. If we get below 98, uh, all bets are off. Then you'd be looking at something to the order of A, B, C, D to the downside. But right now, we're looking for the market to rally up into this 102, 103 level in the dollar index. Okay. Now, it's all probability related, folks. So, you know, don't go saying I got to do this because it's going to work every time. Not going to happen. Just not going to happen. Now. People ask me about trading breakouts and stuff like that. I don't chase markets. I, I'll, I'll trade a breakout occasionally, but I'm a pattern recognition trader, folks. I watch these patterns every day. I know what my edge is, and that's all I really have to do. I don't have to do anything else. I'm not going to try to, you know, pick where every market's going. And, and to, you know, when I did that special report, I warned it. I warned everybody, hey, look, this looks so beautiful, it might not work, and it didn't. You know, I've had these happen all the time. I've had others that I've done. It's worked pretty good. I'm right about 60% of the time, but I don't expect to do any more or any less. 
And that's why I'm doing it. Let's just talk just a little bit here about this one that I want to mention to you because I think it's uh, quite very quite quite important because this is one that really could be telling the tale and uh, I just missed how high it can go. This is the cash S&P market. This was as of this morning, folks. Now, we did make a slightly higher high up in here, but this is as of this morning. You can see you have really nice symmetry between A, B, and C, D. Now, the actual... Uh, Weekly should have come in yesterday or last week, Friday. That's where I thought it was. Here it is Wednesday of the next week, and we haven't started going down yet. So if we don't start down this week, <laughs> this thing could go up a long way, and you don't want to stand in front of it. That's a $64 question that you don't have to answer is because you don't want to be involved. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we've covered the uh, index for the Forex um, and also the Dow Jones. I didn't do the NASDAQ. It may, it's made new highs. Uh, so it's a question of if this thing is going to turn, it'll be 
has to be doesn't have to be it should be today or tomorrow or friday because if we have an up week today like we've had and finish it that strong you know all bets are off it can go you know a far far greater place than i think it go and that happens more often than you might think now i want to walk walk we through what's going on in the grain markets folks because we've had some spectacular moves here yesterday um when we were had right when we had jeff huge on uh i wanted to uh, bring this up to your attention here this is the uh, hold on one second till I get this chart up so we can see it here, and uh, we'll get up here and you'll see it. There's where we are. There's where we were. You see, we had a pullback to the 61% retracement. Here was a number, you know, that that was the 61 on the downside. Now, folks, one of the things you you want to remember if you're in a really strong market, you see the 61% retracement, that acts like a trend line, folks. So if you start getting above that. That means usually, especially when you're in a weather market like we're seeing in the grains, it usually means you're going to be going a lot higher. So all I did was I just brought it forward to show you. I, I wasn't trading this. I was looking at it, but I didn't have anything to do with the trade itself because I haven't done anything since the storm. And that was early Monday, so I have nothing since that time. Let's get this up here get here and be able to take a quick look at it now there's there's what's happened to the wheat today folks once we broke this level right here we went all the way up to this level in fact we went a little bit higher than this and then we started to sell off slightly but the thing to remember is if you'd have looked at that if you'd have looked at that line you see that line is basically like a 45 degree line if that line is broken right at a fib number, that means it's going to go up to the next number. So if you buy it above that line, you don't have to put your stop a little bit below it. And then if it runs, it runs. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. That's, uh, that's really what you're looking for. Let's extend that just a little bit farther out. And what we're going to do now is we're going to give you the same example here because this was corn uh, as of uh, yesterday, let's get this up. The same thing happened, only I didn't draw the line in. I want you to see it ahead of time so that you'd be able to. Remember, we were trying to buy the corn down there. We missed it by about uh, five cents, and then we were trying to buy it a little bit lower down in here. Then it had the pullback right here. You'll see uh, just uh, right at the exact 50% level. There's where it would have broken the line right there yesterday. And boom, look how it exploded to the upside, folks. There's a huge move. 20, 30 cents in corn, you know, that used to be the range for the week. So this is telling us, and now, of course, that's a big ABCD market there. Oh, we've got a caller. Holy cow, how did someone get through on the lines? It's hard to believe. They've been blocked up all day. Don, how are you doing? Maybe I spoke too soon. Line <laughs> right there. Yes, yes we're, you're on the air, my friend. What can I help you with? Oh, hi, uh, Mr. Pesavento. This is Don in D.C. I talked to you on the 22nd of February when that first down move in net gas hit. And uh, yes. I just think it's it's had a had a recent low, and I think this low is going to be a good one for maybe a long time. But the interesting thing is it has a double pattern, and they both these patterns look just like pianos. A hard candle down, and then a serpentine move up, twice in a row over two days uh, in a two-year in a two-hour chart, and it's really cool. I can shoot you a picture of it, uh, maybe to your email. I'll shoot you a picture. That would be uh, great. I'd like to see like. what you're looking at. We can share it with our guests. But it's one of the things that was on my watch list today is because we had the natural gas getting up to 265. And so far, that's been the high of the day. That's been the 61% retracement of the move that we had you know, over the past couple of weeks. So we're still thinking, Don, that we could get down one more big push down to maybe 238. Watch that real closely because there's a lot of things happening at 238 on the longer-term longer chart. So pay very close I, attention to that one. I, I agree. I agree with that, and uh, I've been looking for that too. But now, after seeing this strong pattern, which, like I say, I'll put it in your email box, a picture okay. of it. But uh, it, I think it's it may turn. It may turn away from that. I could be wrong, but I was looking for that volume gap to be filled. But I don't know. I'm starting to think it won't. 
Well, just remember, no one knows what's going to happen next. Just because you don't oh, know, yeah. you're tied with everybody else because nobody knows what's going to happen uh, next, my friend. When someone tells you that they know that's going to happen next, uh, don't walk away from that person. Run away from them because uh, God doesn't share her secrets, if that's for sure. Mm-hmm. You're right about that. And, you know, it's like uh, Mark Douglas said, we do not know the future. And a way to look at that is every next significant moment is a 50-50. No matter what the odds are, could be 100 to 1, but that next moment could be that one. You're absolutely correct, Don, that's for sure. Listen, thank you for calling in. Please send send me that email, and I will take a look at it. I really appreciate it. All right. Bye. You bet. Okay. Well, he's from he's from uh, D.C. I should remind him: vote early and vote often. Hold on. Let's take a look at a couple others here. Now, one other one that I want to share you with. These are things that we're going to be covering when we do the full day trading session on August the second. You know, this is where we're there to make money. I do a little teaching. We'll do a lot of teaching, but uh, mostly uh, to make money. I wanted to show you when you're following these markets. These are weather markets. Uh, this happens to be over the last uh, several days here. Uh, I want to get this up. This happens to be the uh, – I didn't have this until after the storm, of course. But I wanted to point out this is the uh, chart of the uh, soybeans intraday. You'll notice that uh, we had our first 3A2. There was your second 3A2. There was your third 3A2 here today. And now we're coming back. We're all, we've rallied up, but now we're testing this potentially to the downside. So if we break this level here, then that'll tell us that we're probably getting ready to go and make a more significant um, contribution to the downside. Folks, this is a weather market. It can change in a heartbeat. I mean, when the rains come, as you we've seen here on Tucson on Monday, uh, by the way, that was the worst storm in 90 years in Tucson, folks. Uh, we have a river, well, several rivers, uh, uh, San Jacinto and the uh, Rito. The Rito is about two miles from me, and it was uh, overflowing the banks. And that, that usually is bone dry. So there was a lot of, uh, lot of water here. But we made it through okay, which is good. That's the main thing. But to have no electricity... For 15 hours when it's 112 out is uh, wondering how the people back in the days of the settlers, how they actually did it, because that's a real mind boggler uh, in in my uh, estimation. Okay, now I wanted to bring to your attention two other charts that I think were important, and you'll see, get this up here that we'll be able to take a look at it. And this is our gold chart. I wanted to. This was the this is the one that I really kicked myself because we had a nice profit in the short side, uh, gold, and uh, we went right down here on Sunday night, sat there right at the 382 here for about an hour, and then boom, away it went to the upside. Of course, we sold it there, and we did get stopped out, but there was a place to take the profit, and uh, I. I thought it was going to go lower, so that was my assumption that it was going, and you know how you spell assumptions, A-S-S-U-M-E-T-I-O-N. We'll be right back, folks, 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, uh, we're back, and I wanted to put up the chart of Microsoft. This was the one as of uh, uh, last Friday, and I can show you the beautiful patterns there. You can see the 3.0, the 1.618, the 1.27. I mean, they're all lined up perfectly. You can see the double top there, and that, that ended. Uh-oh, what do you mean? I just posted it. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Give me a second here. Okay, I uh, just posted it. I did something wrong. Okay, get up here. Okay, here it is. This is why I really thought it was Friday, folks. I mean, with that type of harmony, and then, of course, Monday, the big news came out, or Monday or Tuesday, or maybe both days, I don't know. But anyway, this thing went all the way up to almost uh, 370. I think it hit 366, which is a huge, huge move here. Now, there's another one that, that's been in here that has been uh, just going bonkers to the upside that we were totally wrong on. And they, this is why these patterns are there, folks, because when they don't work, you get out of Dodge and let them go or follow along. I don't know. But we got up to 290 in the in, in Tesla, folks. 288, 289, I believe, was the high the last time I checked anyway. So I wanted to show you the only one that is actually held up. Uh, well, I didn't check them all, but the one that is held up was the one that most surprised me, and that was Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. You'll see here that it's still within the confines of this long-term trading channel to the upside. Now, it hasn't broken to the downside, but it certainly hasn't broken to the upside yet either. So those are just a few. I looked at a couple others that, that are in the news, of course, Google, Amazon, NVIDIA. And NVIDIA has a real interesting one because it has completed and has not gone above those magical levels that we've seen. Hold on, we'll get up here so you'll be able to see it without too much trouble here. But it has that monster gap in there. Oh, my God, look at that. That's just uh, that's where you buy it the day of the earnings. And look what happens if you catch that falling safe. Boy, that's a, a really a big monster. But it's gone slightly higher, but normal. I mean, it's not another thing spectacular. The big, the big one was Microsoft, folks. It moved a great deal, 3% above the tight target and the old high. So everybody's bullish. The, the, the contrary opinion on this, there must be about 90 to 10, in other words, 90% bulls, 10% bears, because it's so powerful that these markets are moving so very, very strongly. And all I do is I go down and I just go down to a 15 minute time frame and say, okay, where would be my logical place where I could either buy it or sell it? 
That's really, you know, all I'm looking at. Someone's asked a question about the gold market. Well, folks, the gold market's had a heck of a move off of that 382. Let's get this gold up here so we can take a quick look at it. I believe, yeah, here it is right here. I believe, uh-oh, don't do this to me. Here we go. It's going to take a little bit longer. There we go. Here's our gold market right here. And you'll see the low that we made on Sunday night was that 382 that we talked about before, the previous move, right there, right on the money there at uh, 1949. And we got up to 1986 here in this run. So if we've exceeded this, the next level could be up into this level here near the 1.618. So it hasn't given any indication that it's topping yet in the gold market, and especially silver. Boy, silver is off to the races. I mean, we're almost at... Uh, uh, $26 an ounce in silver. We were 22 and change just last week when we got that 382 retracement number. At uh, you remember, this was at 1909, 1908 was our number. The low was 1903. We made really good money in this, folks. We sold it here, bought it here. We had some really nice moves in that. But unfortunately, I missed the last part of that because I wasn't buying at that 382, which was a beautiful spot to buy it. But like they say, sometimes you have chocolate cake sometimes you have vanilla cake but you better like both flavors because they're going to be mixed up eventually i don't know what that means but i just made it up myself anyway bye folks uh, one thing on a personal note please uh, some white light and prayers for my good my dearest and closest and only brother-in-law michael he is uh, very very sick and uh, i think he's he's much better than today than he was yesterday but he's got some physical problems and uh, he's not doing well so any uh, any prayers you can give me uh, that would be uh, very very helpful so let's uh, keep him in our prayers he's a really a stand up guy wonderful father and grandfather and great brother-in-law but he's got a big asset folks he's married to mother teresa my sainted sister carla because uh, that is she's just like my mother oh i could tell you stories about the stuff that woman does for other people you would pull your hair out unfortunately i don't have any hair anymore so i don't have to worry about that too much anymore uh, who's calling me here i don't know who that is that's that's a scam number as near as I can tell. Okay, let's move on here. And uh, someone had a question about soybeans. Let's get the soybeans up here. We're still having a big run in soybeans. We'll be getting pretty close to a potential top, folks. Let's get up here. And remember, this is a weather market, so that it can uh, it can turn on a dime and stop on a quarter. So if you take a look at this, there's the ABCDs that we're looking at. You, there's our target levels are up in here. We got up to here. Didn't quite reach reach it today, but it's backed off a little bit today. This is the first time that we've broken below below the 382 of the last move, which was just a little while ago there at 1405. But that's still it's just a very, very small amount. We're still waiting to see it if it'll get up to this level right here because uh, that's the only place I have interest to being a seller is up into that area because there's nothing in here on a shorter time frame or a longer time frame that has my interest. So those are that's my f frequency of uh, looking at these is every half hour. I don't sit in front of the machine looking at it all day. This is the this during this show is the longest that I sit in front of this machine uh, the whole day. Uh, on the weekends, I spend more time because I'm doing the charts and stuff for the for the next week. But that's the uh, the most time I'll sit during the day is because of this. That's the main thing that I I try to do. And folks, I don't. You know, I, I try to work smarter than I did years ago, so i only looking at certain things. I write them down on a piece of paper. These are the best trades of the day, and if I follow those, I do far better off than I'm sitting there watching machine. I see a little micro pattern and stuff, and believe me, that's not in the cards. You just got to have your game plan, stick to it, and you're going to be far better off than, you're, than you don't want to over trade. I hardly ever trade more than three times a day. And when I do, I usually have a bad day, so I don't uh, try not to do it. That's why when I do this August 2nd thing, uh, I really work hard to get the best trades that I can for that day to show you that's exactly what I'm doing. And I'm going to be doing that for five straight hours, just like we did this for an hour. I'm going to be doing five hours. We don't take a break. We go straight through, take maybe five minutes for a glass of water or whatever, and then we'll uh, we'll have something to uh, you know hang our hats on. So that's uh, the main thing that you want to remember. 
that uh, this thing for the August the 2nd is there to make money. We've had four of these over the past uh, three years or so, and uh, all of them have been profitable. We had a couple that were monster profits. Others that just basically covered their cost of admission plus a little, but uh, all of them have had, had been profitable. And we've missed some great trades, and we've had some bad trades, but you see the good, bad, and the ugly, and that's what we're that's what we're looking at. Uh, I use my uh, my favorite quote from uh, uh, Clint Eastwood when he's playing the Lieutenant Harry Callahan, and he says, "Magnum in the movie Magnum Force, he said, a man has to know his limitations, folks. And my limitation is, once I get past 15 minutes, uh, it's in the hands of the trading gods, because those patterns are the ones that uh, put uh, a couple of bucks in my pocket each day. We're going to take a break here, 877 877- 927-6648 Billy Ray Valentine Capricorn If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Let's get down to the basics. I posted a weekly chart of the S&P 500. It was as of this morning. We are above the 78% level slightly, but on a percentage basis, it's still in the ballpark. Gets beyond 3%, folks, then this thing is no good. But frankly, you're grasping at draws, thinking this may be the high. 
but I thought it was going to be either Friday or Monday. Here we are Wednesday. We've been blowing up to the upside with fantastic news, bullish exuberance that I haven't seen since the dot-com bubble. Maybe this is it. Maybe it isn't. But the one thing I can be sure of, when this thing starts down, I'm going to have my ticket punched and we'll be ready. That's all I can tell you because I watch it. And when I see something that gives me a shot to take a very, very small risk, I'm going to do it. I might be wrong three or four times, maybe five times in a row, but that fifth time will pay the bills for all the other four. I seldom am I wrong four times in a row. I've been wrong with the S and P or the Dow Jones one here twice recently. But remember, folks, we were bearish all the way down, and that was a very, very good return that we made. We made well over 4,000 points in that Dow. We gave 1,000 back, so it was still pretty good, much like in the gold market. We took a nice piece of change out of that. We left some on the table. But I never buy the low. I never sell the high. I tried to get that little piece in the middle, which was the the uh, walking uh, stick uh, or the uh, talking stick from our good friend. Um, oh no, I have a brain brain space here. What is it? Uh, oh well, it was J.P. Morgan's best friend, and I can't remember it offhand, but I will. Uh, I will eventually because his book, My Own Story, by Bernard Baruch, is who it was. And uh, he tells it, always take a piece out of the of the run. Don't try to get the higher low. Leave some stuff for everybody else. And that's certainly uh, what I try to do. We're going to take a break here for the rest of the day. And tomorrow we'll be back. And try to join us here at TFNN. We're going to have some stuff on foreign currency that I don't think you want to miss. And also, if you get a chance, make sure you get that book, Plato and the Koran. Great present for somebody, even yourself. Cost of a nice meal. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, my folks, my friends, and we'll see you tomorrow.